In this lesson, we're going to be looking at some of the transform functions from the edit menu. To transform an object, and by transform I mean resize or rotate or skew or flip, you must first have that layer selected, then go up to edit, down to transform, and then you have several options here. So we'll start at the bottom with this pretty self-explanatory options here, like rotate 180 degrees. It's going to rotate this 180 degrees, 90 degrees clockwise, and 90 degrees clockwise once more to get it back to where I started. Flip is going to mirror my image. And you've probably seen this, actually you've definitely seen this technique more than you know as you've probably seen this effect plastered all over the web. And it's a lot easier to achieve than you think. I need two of these objects, so I'm going to delete the layer by dragging it to the new layer icon. And then with the move tool selected and the shift key held down so that I move this in a straight line, I'm going to move it directly underneath my original object here. And then the flip comes in right about here, and I need to mirror this vertically so that it's sort of a reflection of this. And then we add an advanced technique in the layer mask. And that's all there is to it. So let me get rid of that. And now we'll look at the transform, the free transform functions. So to free transform, you can go about it in a couple different ways. You can select whether you want to scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective, or warp from this menu, or you can first enter free transform by either clicking here or pressing control T. So in the free transform, so with free transform selected, you now have these different controls to resize this object. Grabbing from the side, we'll stretch it out horizontally, the bottom vertically. To cancel a transformation, press control period before you commit, and it will automatically go back to the way it was. So I'm going to press control T again to bring up these transform options. And now look at the corner. By pressing the corner or dragging the corner points out is effectively how you're going to resize using this tool. The one thing to remember, though, is that in order to constrain these proportions so that this remains square, while I'm dragging out the corner, I need to hold the shift key down so that I keep this perfectly proportional. Now, another way to reach the extra options like skew and Trans or a skew and distort and perspective is when you're in the free transform tool, press or right click rather, and you'll bring up those options. Then you can select one. In this case, I'll select distort, and then it has very different behaviors. So now with distort selected, if I grab one corner, it's just going to grab one of these points, and it can effectively distort the object. And you can use these particular effects to add sort of a 3D, 3D effect. Like this is actually on a physical or a 3D plane in space here. So now let's look at a real world example. I've got this flush mount album page ready to be designed. And I've got these three images. And as you can see, they're all a little large. I can't really work with them at this size, so I need to free transform them. One of the cool things about the free transform tool is that I can select this one layer, then pressing control, I can select the rest of them. Now when I free transform, I've actually selected all of them, and the controls, the free transform controls, are surrounding the entire set. So since I need to maintain the proportions of these images, I'm going to hold shift, drag this corner here, and I'll drag it inward, and then press enter to commit. And now I have much more 
manageable sizes and I can begin designing my album page. And be sure to check out our series on flush mount album design as they will we touch on smart objects and the benefits of converting these images to smart objects when transforming.